That's a lot of pulling power. You gotta kinda pull that at an angle to get that over there. So you're probably gonna need about three or four guys to pull that in to get it to, to go over those ropes right there. Like, the crane can move in another foot and a half to two feet, but then they gotta pull it in the rest of the way. Because um, that's the only way you're gonna get that over there. Because you're looking at a vertical drop, so you have to pull in at an angle. The best thing to do is get a rope on both sides and have someone pull each side of it. That's the way I would do it anyway. They could, they could move it in about three feet to the straps almost touch the um, the top. But either way, they got a, it's a lot of pulling power. Though. You're pulling all that weight in towards you. The best thing is to get a rope on both sides and two guys on each side and pull it in. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, other than that, they're going to be struggling to get that over there. If they can get a rope on the other side where that guy's got his hand right there, tie another rope right there, and pull, pull, pull. But they gotta have the crane operator bringing in the fuel too. The crane operator could bring it in about, looking from here, at least two and a half to three feet in. So I can get a better angle. Like those things are not heavy, but they're heavy enough that you need a lot of people to pull it. Like it's not heavy, heavy, but it's heavy enough you need about four people to pull it just to get it in there. So it looks like he's gonna. Um, not too sure what he's gonna do. Whatever you do, you don't want to. You don't want to be overreaching on that thing. You don't want to overreach. So they're going to have to retry it again. Like that's that's not a that's not an easy task to do. You know, you got to really plan that, and you got to get two ropes on each side, and you got to get at least four guys. They really pull that in while they're bringing it down at an angle, and that's 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 really tough. It's not easy. Get some might even need a come along. Sometimes a come along is easier to use than having people pull on it. Get two come alongs, just pull it in, and as it's coming down, just pull it in more. Not too sure how they're gonna do that, but th there are ways of getting that up there. A lot of you guys that operate cranes, you know how to get that up there. There's quite a few ways you can get that up there without any hassle. But they did try though. He, they did try to get it up there. So it's, the guy, that's we call it cam back. Yeah, you know, he's doing a he's doing a cam back up there. I don't know if you saw him or not. He's doing a cam back. Crane operator only can see so much, so that it's their job to, to d direct them on getting that up there. Like, it has to be eyes on the ground and eyes in the sky. 
need two eyes to really make it work. Get a nice, nice, good, solid rope on each end. Pull it, pull it, pull it. You gotta pull real hard. They might come up with a different method of trying to um, trying to do that. Who knows? That's be another way of getting it up there. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's like the fourth floor. So you need to you need to really really work at it. Like I said, that's not a heavy, heavy lift. It's, it's four people can she be able to pull it with no problem and just get it right on there, especially when it's it's suspend, suspended in uh, in the air. So let's see. They might try a different method of getting it up there. I'm just gonna record the rest of the construction site, what's going on, and uh, I'll see if I come back and see what they're doing. So like I said, this crane. They, they did this crane, um, I think a week and a half ago, they set this crane up. So that, that's a pretty big size crane. I think I got a video of them setting it up in the street over here. So it's now inside the um, area. Um, it's just, just all the work that's going on in the city. Another big crane over there. That's a big heavy duty crane going all the way up. It has like a lot of lifting power, so that thing at the top kind of pivots up and down to give you more uh, stretch over. So we'll see how that works. So it looks like they're going to tie the other rope on there so they can pull pull from both sides. So we'll see how this works. If they put two straps, one at each end, and you get at least two guys on each side, almost guaranteed you can pull that over. It's a lot of pulling power, but it, it can be done. Like it's not easy, but some strong, strong guys that are anchored in pretty good, they can get that. They can get that up there. So he's going to try a different method this time. He's got the hooks all on one side and that on the other side. So this way, he brings it closer to uh, where it should be. So let's see how this works out. They got the two straps, so the, it's going to make a big difference with the two straps on there. It almost sounds like I did this before, which I have. So, I've done a lot of construction. It's not easy work, but I've done some construction. And yeah, it's got to get that thing to pivot now. That got to pivot. But once he gets it up there, they they could turn it. They could turn it for him. So it's not so much of him having to pivot. If if a guy could reach one of those straps, he could turn it himself. All you gotta do is reach one of those straps, either one, doesn't matter. And you can turn it, turn it yourself. Looks like it's gonna go in the right order. If he keeps it the way he has it, it's gonna be perfect. Now, one of the guys should be grabbing that strap right now. If they grab that strap right now, they got control over it. You don't, you don't want that to spin like that though. You, there you go. You want to grab the strap. So he's pulling it the wrong. I wouldn't do it that way, but you can do it that way too. Now they should be able to get that in there, no problem. They should be able to just pull it in. But you need two guys on each side to really get it in there. Two guys pulling it nice and nice and tight. What's up? Huh? Oh, you want to park, you say? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not in charge of that. No, no. I'm not too sure how that operates. I know there should be a. There should be a gate intended inside. I'm not too sure who's inside there.
Just be careful, there's a car behind you. Like I said, that's a lot of pulling power. You gotta pull that sucker good. You gotta really pull it. They got the angle and everything, you just gotta pull it real hard. people to pull that like two people I, I think that's gonna be not enough people to pull that I think you need more people there you go just pull hard pull hard gotta pull real real hard and it's not good to be at the edge the further you're in the better off you're gonna be you don't want to be on the edge of that you want to be in all the way in with a lot of pulling power Like I said, a, a come along makes that so much easier. Even one come along with two guy straps, it makes that so much easier. The come along will pull that in like so much easy. Like you'd be surprised. A couple of ratchets of the come along, that thing pulls in. Once it passes the rope, the crane operator drops it, and you're good to go. That's probably the easiest way of doing it without hurting yourself. Because if you pull that thing too hard and that thing swings on you and, and whatever you do, don't wrap your hands around it where you can't let go. Because if that crane pulls out and gets stuck on the end of that rope, you're getting sucked off the roof, believe it or not. So a lot of people wrap their arm around the rope. Don't, don't do that. I don't recommend doing that. Just pull. But don't, don't put your arm where you can't get it loose. It's tough because you're, you're against the edge that you don't want to be working that close. See, having it that way, I think it's easier for them to pull it in. I could be wrong, but I think it's easy to do it that way that when they spun it around. Just got to get it past those bars there and he can drop it. He's, they're still off like by a foot and a half, so they got to really kind of co coordinating it. Like I said, that's a lot of pulling power because you're pulling at an angle. That's the toughest thing is that you have that angle. You got four strong guys or one come along. You can, you can do that. You have to have a come along up there somewhere. Or well, even a um, a pulley system would work too. But a pulley, you have to have the the pulley set the right way. You can do it that way too. Maybe if they had six guys, maybe it'd be a little easier. Three on each side. And I'm pulling. Remember, remember I mentioned Shaughnessy? That's, that's, a, that's a Shaughnessy crane right there. They do a lot of crane lifting in the city of Boston. I mentioned them in my other video. This is a well-known crane company.
Like, I'm pretty sure they get it up there, but it's going to take a little, a little, uh, little elbow grease. You got to really get it in there. You got cranes lifting stuff up. Like, that's one of the uh, overhead cranes right there. Those things have a lot of swing. A lot of swing. So he's probably going to try to pull that with the other one. Now that's a good idea. That would actually work. If, if he can pull that with that one, that, that can pull that in. It's, it's strong enough to pull it. Like I said, it's all, it's all the pulling power. It's all that upper, upper body strength. You got to pull it at an angle while he's lowering it down. Then once they put a rope on there or a chain on there, that should do it. other people watching like I'm not the only one out here there's another guy that was recording as well um, just everybody's just trying to see like there's different ways of doing it but the bottom line is you got to pull that in at an angle while it's lowering down to, to get it over the ropes if you have a strong beam support in the middle of that building somewhere I'll wrap a rope, put a pulley on it, I'll come along and ratchet away. I don't know if you hear that guy in the side of me. He said, why don't they put it in the elevator? <laughs> but I don't think they have an elevator for that, that size anyway. Tough. That's not a. That's not an easy assignment. You got to know how physics works. Everybody. An accident. You wait for an accident to happen. <laughs> yeah, get, it on, get it on tape. Get it on tape. Just, I think they're going to do pretty good. They don't got their. They don't got their plans all together though. But they're trying. Like, like I, I see what they're trying to do, but they really need some more people up there to pull that in. That's what they need. They need a lot more people to pull it in. Now, now I'm, I'm gonna do a quick pan. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people down here watching. Them. How you doing? They're trying to. Everybody's trying to figure out why. What the hell is going on? Everybody's kind of dispersing. But that right there, um, you need a lot of pulling power, like, and it's like it's all upper body strength too. Like you, you could have strong legs, but the arms are going to be the what's going to determine how you're going to get that in there. Your arms and your grip and your, how much pull, pull you can do. I say at least four strong men should definitely be able to pull that in there. Definitely should be able to get that in there. 
I'm gonna hang around and hopefully they get that in there. We'll see. Keep keep my uh, hands and fingers crossed that no accidents happen and be able to get that in there without no problem. If you had a, if you have a winch, a winch will make it easier too. If they need to come along on a winch, and they, they can pull it in. Pull that top cable down. Oh, they can do that too, but then, then they might pull. They might pull themselves off. See that, yeah. see that? that right there? That's that's pulled. So all you do is unclip that fucking top cable, pull the cable down, pull it in. Yeah, they can do that too. Ta da! <laughs> Everybody's looking at everybody's like trying to figure out what these guys are doing up there now. It's been over an hour that they've been trying to get this up there, so trying to figure out like what's the strategy going to be. He suggested that you take off that top cable and just pull it and and uh, pull over that top cable. Uh, that that could work because it gives you more pulling space. Also, it's a safety violation too, though, because you took off the uh, the railing. My best bet is they get a pulley or a come along and they just or get some more help and just pull that in all the way. You definitely can get up there, you definitely can get it in there. You get a guy that's about two to three hundred pounds, one at each end. And all they gotta do is use their body weight and pull. They had to definitely pull it in too, because that thing can't be more than, we'll say 500 to 1,000 pounds. As long as you have the weight to, to pull it in, you can pull it in. What's up, man? Some, uh, a little bit of snow tonight, not a lot, but what I ain't seen a little bit of snow. Uh, that, that's kind of risky. I hope that thing got good brakes. Almost got it. Almost. But there you go. One more. One more cable. It looks like it's free. Just gotta pull it all the way in and job well done. How's it going there? Keep it staying busy, huh? I hear ya. A lot of work out here, a lot of construction work. Yeah, they got it. That's one down, one to go. Job well done. For a second, I thought they wasn't gonna get it in there, but. They, they put their minds together and got it in there, which is a good thing. Like I said, it's a lot of pulling power. I knew that from the from the get go. Like if you're not strong enough to pull that bad boy, you're gonna have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of problems. Trust me, I've done construction and it's not fun. It's definitely not fun. You know, you get to learn a lot, but it's not fun. You know, it depends. On, it also depends on what you're doing too. These guys are really getting getting at it. They're doing a lot of different things here. These guys are putting up the side in over here. This guy, I think he just, I think he's just hanging the um, the reinforcement um, things on there. Could be wrong. It 
see that sizzle, that jack up, that lift up there? Those things, uh, unless you like those kind of heights, it's not a good feeling. Cause you're, you're kind of weaving in the air. Like, that thing is not as stable as you think it is. It's, just, it's always shaking. And those things, the further they go out, the further they can topple over. So I don't like those. Like, th those things uh, are not... I don't recommend being on them at an angle like that. But the further you stretch the boom out at an angle, it's like a fulcrum over here, and that's that's not good. I see those things rock where the wheels are coming off the ground and stuff. I just I just don't like it myself. And he's at a good he's not he's not fully extended, but um, he's almost at a 45 degree angle, which is not too bad. But like I said, those things. I, I just don't like the, the way they, they wobble like that in the air. Pretty, pretty big building. A lot of stuff going on. Probably the closest we're gonna get it right there. Just gonna give you guys a little footage of the uh, of them working over here. They're actually still prepping the foundation. So once the foundation is prepped, then they can start building. So you see the foundation being prepped, dirt's being removed, and all that good stuff. So. That crane has a lot of lifting power. 
that red crane in the back, that thing is is huge. It has so much lifting power. It's not even it's not even funny. Come on, man. Alright guys, I'm going to give you guys a little bit more footage and then I'm going to head up out of here. I do got other things I got to do. Right now they, they're prepping the foundation over here for pouring the concrete. Put all the rebars in there and all that good stuff. And once they get all the rebars in there and all the forms in place, they can pour the concrete. So, it's a little process. pretty good. That might take a couple of years for them to finish this project, but um, either way, it's, it's, on, it's on the making. These are, 